Okay everybody, I'm making a second tutorial right now um, concerning the tutorial that I just did showing you how to paint the face. Um, I wanted to um, cook the, the doll head and I actually wanted to show you that it does um, adhere to your doll, the makeup. It's really, really nice. And there was another thing that I really want to clear up because I wasn't thinking, I, I was just automatically doing it and I'm, I wasn't thinking to make it very clear to you. Okay, when I was using the brown in um, the other tutorial and I was showing you how I put it in the eyes and down the nose and wherever you're going to put it. I was using a powder eyeshadow. Now that powder eyeshadow that I have for some reason um, it it must have a real strong pigment in it because I have tried other um, eyeshadows and they did, it, it was kind of like uh, you would put it on your doll and you could just blow it off. Um, if you have your own makeup and you, you want to give it a try because I can't say um, which makeup has more pigment than, than others. It's really a um, trial and error for me. Um, the one thing that I can really suggest if you don't want to go through the trial and error is that I found that if you um, buy the creamed eyeshadows you won't have any problem just as long as they have a strong pigment. You want a strong pigment in your uh, face makeup and in your eyeshadow. And of course, we really don't want to put that on our, on our face, but even though, you know, they're putting it out with so much pigment, it, I just don't feel it's that healthy. But anyways, for my doll, it doesn't matter. So let them keep putting the pigment in it because it works works very well on my dolls. Okay, now, now that I have that cleared up, the thing that I do want to show you is lipstick. Okay, again, you want a pretty good strong pigment. Okay, now the reason why I'm showing you with lipstick, okay, is because... Back in the day when I was uh, still experimenting and learning, I never liked the way paint would go on lips. And actually, I'll tell you what I did use, and a lot of people thought I was really whacked out for using it, is that I used, um, it was Genesis, no, I take that back. It was not Genesis. It was um, a powdered pigment paint for porcelain dolls. And you mixed a little bit of oil, which was made for porcelain dolls. I mixed a little bit of that. But with porcelain dolls, when you use that you have to fire that doll at a very high temperature for so many hours and for that paint to not come off. Well, since I was doing porcelain at that time, the reason why I liked you, um, the powder mixed in with the oil for the porcelain is that it went on the doll so natural. It wasn't lumpy. The, the, the color was even, and I thought, well, let me try it on polymer clay. Let me tell you, it works. I did not have to cook my doll at a real, real high temperature and cook it for five hours like you do porcelain. I did that for many, many years until, basically, I ran out. And I thought, well, what can I do differently? So I started experimenting with um, paints. 
um, pastel chalks. I didn't like any of it. I really didn't. So then I says, well, okay, let's try the lipstick. So I'm going to show you. I want the darkest part to be right along the crease. The in between the bottom and the top. Okay. Now then, when you think about it, her upper lip is actually going to put a shadow on that bottom lip a little bit more. So I'm just going to darken that. I can make sure I stay in the camera. I want to darken that just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to clean my um, brush off. I'm hoping that this is going to work because this brush isn't um, really, um, I, need, I need a new one <laughs> terribly. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go from this, um, I'm going to work with my bottom lip. And I'm going to bring the lipstick down. Making sure that you get it in the corners. Um, you don't want to use lip gloss. I thought about that one time. And when I really thought about it, I in my thinking, I, I kind of knew it wasn't going to work. But of course I had to try. And not good. Not good at all. Not for me anyways. Okay. Now... For the top lip, I'm going to bring that color up into that lip. Right along that crease, I'm going right through the whole thing. Okay, now I'm going to Clean this off a little bit. Make sure I'm in there. And I'm going to just bring that paint right up into the shape of her lip. And what I did, what I want is I want that lip um, stick to be, the color to be just as smooth as can be. And then I'm going to do a little bit more on this side. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit more. Now see if I if I really did if I had a real good paintbrush here, see see how it's all separated. You you really don't want that. OK, 
Okay, now I'm just still just really wor working with it and blending it. And I'm barely, barely, barely touching it. Trust me, you're doing something. And by you doing it, trust me, you are going to like the results if you do a light touch. I'm still working that lipstick in the in the crease because really that crease right there is pretty hard to get smooth. So I am really working with it hoping that my paintbrush is going to catch whatever it can catch that might be getting hung up on a little piece of clay that's stuck in there. Now I'm going to bring that up to the camera and hopefully that you can see it. Now, if you've got any, which I am really, really particular, let me see. Maybe this will work better. If I've got a little bit on the, to where um, I want that line for the lip to be more defined, I just go in there and clean it up. And actually what you're doing is you're actually blending the color in it. So if you get it out on the outside, don't worry about it. You can get it off. And I'm going to bring it up. Now, you have to remember, too, you guys, this head was um, is a scrapped head. It was never really finished. So I might have done a little bit different with the lips. But I wanted to show you that you can apply uh, lipstick. And I don't know what I just got on there. But I got something on there. Let's see. See how that stuff really works? I mean, it took that right off. Okay, now you can do this because I'm not one that likes a lot of uh, lipstick on. I like a just a nice subtle color to it. But sometimes I'm making a particular doll, like um, maybe my fashion doll. I think she's going to have um, real kind of like red dark lips. Um, for this doll, what I would do is I would go in there and just pat it very, very lightly. Okay. And I'll bring it up as close as I can. Don't look at her eyes, you guys. She, they're, they're, they're bad. Bad, 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 bad. Okay. Okay, now you know that the camera is going to show you every imperfection, but I just want to show you what the lipstick does. And I see a little spot right there. Focus, come on. Bring it down there. Okay. Now what I would do is I put this back in the oven. And I don't know what it is, but it does something to the uh, lipstick. 
and then what I'll do is I'll go back over the lipstick after I've cooked it. Um, I will put a sealer over the lipstick only which sometimes you would want the, the lips to look kind of uh, like wet looking or whatever. But I wanted to show you, you can do it with lipstick and it comes out beautiful. Um, if this was a um, real good doll that I was doing, those lips would be um, better. But you got an idea. And I wanted to clear that up with the um, brown eyeshadow. Remember, Cream is the best, but if you have the powder, try it. But I just wanted to get that out because I meant to really mention that in that, that tutorial. So everybody, I hope that you like this part of it and you'll get all your makeup out and now start painting your dolls. Okay, thank you everyone and I hope that this has helped you.